Hey guys, welcome back to Cars in 60 and today we're here to look at Shane's Mark 1 2 liter 16 volt turbo. Shane's no stranger to Cars in 60. We've actually done a feature on his car before, but we didn't do the interview, so we wanted to come back and do this thing, do the feature properly again. So Shane, thank you for giving us your time again. And, Hi, you're uh, welcome. And uh, giving us uh, your car to look at and to go through once again and just quickly I know the facts and the insights and the modifications done to the car, but the viewers don't. So take us through the car, take us through what model it is, and uh, we'll continue from there. Yeah, it's a uh, 1982 uh, Golf 1, old school. Yeah. Uh, um, two litre 16 valve turbo. Two litre 16 valve Obviously. turbo. Uh, two litre eight valve bottom end. Yeah, so that's the two E pistons. Yeah, it, it's got 83 mil uh, neural pistons. Yeah. Uh, stock rods. We got ARP balls. Yeah. Um, it's got a 9A head. Yeah. Stock cams, gas flowed, ported. Yeah. Uh, we got a custom intake, custom fuel rail, 1600 cc uh, injectors, Bosch. Yeah. Uh, we got a Mr. Turbo a GT35 turbo there. And what boost are you running, Shane? Uh, pump fuel, it runs one bar. Yeah. And on uh, full F, we do 1.9 bar. Yeah. Uh, it's got uh, two fuel pumps, two fuel filters. We got a, a BMW fuel pressure regulator. Yeah. Turbonetics waste gates. XL uh, dump valve. XL dump valve. You got the front mount uh, intercooler. intercooler. And uh, what power are you making at high boost session? High boost, it makes uh, 440 horses. Yeah. And torque? Uh, Hey, talk, I think it was five, uh, 520 somewhere there. I, I can't yeah. remember exactly and, what it uh, was. Just quickly, you've, you've built the engine yourself. You've done everything from uh, like the installation. The only part I know you don't do is the tuning. The tuning is done by uh, Imran from Performance Tuning. In Durban, right? In yeah. Durban. The, everything on this car is done by me. Yeah. Uh, gearbox, it's got a Golf, of, Golf 5 gearbox, a yeah. VR6. Uh, flywheel and pressure plates. Right, yeah. The, the clutch is uh, a copper clutch done by uh, Clutchman from Cape Town. Okay. Uh, management, it's dictator management standard. Yeah. Uh, when we're driving on the street, yeah. we have to use Toyo Ultra plates. Yeah. Um, because the car just wheel spins. Yeah, yeah, obviously. With uh, the of it's got coilovers. Let me just go um, to the side of the car. The brakes is upgraded. And you have uh, obviously 17 inch bobbits here and you, you run semi slicks in the front, front. obviously and okay. then normal tires in the rear and you have a full 76 mil stainless steel exhaust. Yes, system. from the front to the back with one box. Yeah. Other than that, we try to keep the car stock. Yeah. Look so, stock. But uh, it's old, it needs a good uh, uh, a redo. Yeah. This is the interior. So OEM for the most part, apart from the like, boost gauge, I think, and your shift lights. Yeah. And uh, Shane, like 2 liter 16 valve turbo Golf One, it's it's like a it's like it has a huge fan following. I think every VW fan, if they never owned one, they plan on owning one. And even if it's this conversion in a different VW, uh, take us through what works and what doesn't. What's the best uh, engine setup? Like I, I heard you say you have the 2E bottom head and you put a neural 83 uh, millimeter pistons. Has that lasted? Yes, that works very well. Actually, yeah. the, the stock bottom end with stock pistons is the base setup. Yeah. Works well. There's no conversion of um, modifying pistons, yes. nothing. Yeah. The main thing, you just need rod bolts. Yeah. Uh, That's the ARP rod, uh, con rod bolts and main main bolts. No, no, just con, con rod, rod bolts. bolts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this car don't have ARP head bolts. Yeah. We use uh, Victorine head bolts. Okay. And. Uh, it, it works wonders. Yeah. We did boost it on the dyno to 2.1 bar. Yeah. And then we turned it down. Yeah. Uh, just to keep it safe. Yeah. Um, other than that, if you just take a 2 liter 16 valve head or a KR head, which is a 1800, yeah. Put it on a 2 liter 8 valve, it becomes turbo friendly because it automatically drops Lowers your compression. compression. Yeah. And uh, I know you. This car is specifically for you to race with, and a 
10 dyno days and uh, it's not your main car. And I know you assisted a few other guys with building 20 valve conversions and also uh, throttle body. You have a 2016 yes. throttle body Golf yeah. as well. Yes. So you know your way around, uh, obviously, the Golf 1. And uh, what does something like this cost, uh, Shane? Just a ballpark figure for someone that's wanting to turbocharge the uh, Golf 1 or even a Golf 3, because the same setup will work. If you have absolutely nothing in the sense of engine parts, yeah. uh, turbo, are you looking at about like close to uh, 60 to 70K? 60, 70,000. But, and like, I'm sure when people hear that figure, they'll be like, okay, that's a lot. You can get something. Uh, like in, uh, apart from the car price, if you add that together, you can get something for 100,000. That will be as fast, but uh, we're gonna go for a drive and then we'll see like what the 60,000, 70,000 and conversion gets yeah. you. And uh, you don't have to use it for drag racing. It can be no. a low boost street car as well. Yeah. Um, this car is actually used to be my uh, Sunday car. Yeah. Uh, use it all over. Yeah. It's only now that I have a trailer, we decided to go Extreme with the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say extreme. It, if you have finances, you can do... You can double the power. Yeah, I know that, I know uh, that. But, but this is more just to enjoy. Yeah, that, that's that's exactly my point. Like, so someone that's not looking to go make 500 kilowatts and run a 10 second quarter mile, someone that's just looking to complete their Mark 1 bolt. So they got the cosmetics and exterior, got like, uh, you know, sorted, they got airbags, and now they want to they want to go the turbo route on the on the obviously in the engine uh, department and this clearly this combination works perfectly. Yeah, you can do it cheaply like close to 30k you can yeah. do a conversion. Perfect. It and all depends what you uh, your end goal is yeah. power wise. Cuz I know like uh, your plenum is uh, like custom and that's I know that's pricey and uh, obviously your intercooler setup that's like a kit. I know people actually still use the standard intake manifold and they use that and that yeah. also works. Like all the boost pipes, we I actually built it at home. Yeah. So all the, the catch tank, your filter stuff, all this, uh, I've yeah. built it at home. So yeah. everything, most of it is custom. Okay, can you just start it up for us please, uh, Shane? Because it's got ETH, it's gonna take a while to start. <laughs> oh, it's running on full ethanol? Yeah. It sounds fairly like uh, mellow when it's not in boost state. Eh? It sounds... Yeah, it's, it's very. If you don't drive the car in boost, yeah, you'll think it's it's just a stock no, yeah, car. Yeah. yeah, And can we go for a drive? Yeah, now? sure. Okay. Counterweight that uh, that that dip it does at the launch. Eh? Yeah. What boost is it running now? Uh, One point six. It feels stronger now in your third gear. Yeah, it, before, it's also the tires. Yeah, before it was, it uh, kind of bogged when you took off. Just sure. With the new brakes and all that, so that's that thing. But I'll just show you the. See, second 
second gear if you just floor it without high boost. Yeah. Like it is, uh, it's Compared stable. to other cars. It's just obviously I'm not used to the power. Uh. Because we, well, I also race uh, 1Ks. Yeah, all your, your top end runs. Yeah. 